Hello, my name is Julia, and this is Space Daily News Channel. The first orbital launch from Great Britain did not go according to plan. The American company Virgin Orbit, which provides services for the launch of small satellites using the so-called Air Launch to Orbit, launched a mission called Start Me Up. As part of this mission, nine small satellites were to be launched into orbits. During the launch, the company's aircraft, known as Cosmic Girl, lifted off from the Cornwall spaceport in the UK on Monday, January 9. At an altitude of about 11 km, the Cosmic Girl aircraft dropped a 70-foot-long Launcher 1 rocket that was to launch the satellite into their orbits. The rocket's first stage performed as planet and separated about 3.5 minutes after the rocket was launched from the aircraft. Unfortunately, the rocket's upper stage malfunctioned about 5 minutes after the engine started and was unable to release the satellites. Nine CubeSats were lost as a result of the failure. Among them were two satellites to study the ionosphere, an experimental global navigation satellite and others. The Start Me Up mission was the first launch from Great Britain for Virgin Orbit in particular and in history of space exploration in general. All of the company's five previous orbital flights were from the Mojave Air and Spaceport in California. The first launch of the Launcher 1 rocket in May 2020 ended in failure, with the rocket falling into the Pacific Ocean after separation from the aircraft due to a first stage engine failure. But that was followed by four successful launches, with a total of 33 satellites in orbit. For the UK launch, the Virgin Orbit team relocated from California to Cornwall, where it set up a new mission control center. Overall, despite the setback, Virgin Orbit is optimistic about future launches from the UK. It is even possible that the next one will take place at the end of this year. Space Daily News. Like, share and subscribe.